so as i said earlier lists are similar to arrays so some of you guys have already worked on to uh, different different languages and in those languages we used to have arrays like in java we have arrays in uh, c also we have arrays so in multi like many languages we have arrays when it comes to apex list is an array and array is a list there is no difference between them so like you can use a list with the array notation as well that square bracket notation and uh, yeah if you want to create a like an array you can use it like a list and you can use the methods of a list on that particular array so what i mean like what i mean by this is lists and arrays are exactly same when it comes to apex when it, it comes to apex as a programming language you need to like get clear with it so you must be wondering shrey like if they are exactly same then why we have uh, like we have got two terminologies or why we have we have to create it as like array and then use it as a list and then uh, like like create a list and then use it as an array it's basically for your comfort for uh, your uh, yeah ease i would say like say apex is created by salesforce it's a proprietary language of salesforce and they have created it in a way so that it's it should be easy to learn and it should be comfortable for the people who have worked on to different different languages uh, so if you have like if you have worked on to any other language it should be comfortable for you to use uh, lists in apex similar uh, in a similar way uh, you used to like use arrays in any other programming language earlier now let me explain you that what is list array notation so as i said that you can use lists uh, like an array and array like a list so here are uh, some list array notations so have a look at this statement so what we are doing over here is we are creating an array right so like this array uh, or like this array is nothing but a list so when this um, what do you say when this statement uh, will get executed let me tell you what will exactly happen uh, there is going to be a l4 reference variable which will be assigned with a list that will have four elements and these elements can also be like this is again a dynamic array the size of this array can be increased and it's because it is because it is exactly similar to list so the size of the array or size of uh, the array that we have declared over here this l4 is dynamic no matter if you have uh, i like declared it like this if you have uh, even if you have defined that i want to store four values in, inside this particular array you can increase the uh, number of what uh, elements that you are storing into this particular list or this particular array so this array uh, is not exactly an array but it is a list but you can uh, use or you have the ease to declare it like an array so that's exactly what is happening over here so uh, if you can see in this diagram there is no difference between uh, like this l4 and this l2 there is no no such difference right because they both are lists which are storing integer values inside it and there are multiple other ways also uh, to like in this array notation with the help of which we can declare lists so let's have a look at them l5 on the left hand side we have declared an array so uh, let me first tell you what is this uh, integer and then square bracket open and square bracket close it basically defines the date type you are storing different different integers together so this is basically the data type and uh, this is what we are doing over here in l5 as well so we have declared the data type like that and on to the right hand side we have used the uh, like new list integer angular bracket and then parenthesis so like this statement earlier we used with lists right not with uh, what do we say like not with arrays so arrays have a syntax like this but when it comes to apex there is no problem there is because there is no difference so even if you are writing down writing down like this like on the right hand side you are defining as new list integer and on to the left hand side you are declaring this particular variable integer l5 there is no such difference it's exactly similar it will work exactly similar uh, like a list and another one is having left like having list uh, like list declaration on the left hand side and on to the right hand side you are declaring it uh, like an array it will again work exactly similar there is no difference and then let's talk about adding the values without using the add method so as i told you list has array notation so in arrays whenever we want to access any value what we did was so like this is an array right let me just uh, take take wait. 
delete everything else okay so this is an array so in this array we've got uh, two four six and two is on zero index and uh, one is uh, like four is on one index and six is on two index so if you want to access four we'll write down l2 and inside square brackets we'll write down one which is basically the index so this is on position one two three but the index matters the index is important so the index in arrays or in lists starts with zero and whenever you want to access the first element you'll access it like l2 and then inside the uh, like square bracket you'll write down zero not one so yeah this is how you can access it and this is exactly how i've written this program over here l60 so what i'm doing is i've created uh, l6 as an array so let me create a diagram for it uh, that what will exactly happen when we'll execute this particular code so when i'll execute this code uh, list integer l6 is equal to new integer 4 this is going to create a list which will have four elements and uh, l6 as a reference variable and yeah then then it's gonna assign it to this and then we'll write down l6 0 is equals to 10 so like which one is zero? First one so this array was supposed to have four elements right so we can have four elements because the index starts with zero and then next one is one and the next one is two and next one is three so like l6 0 is equals to 10 so 10 will get stored over here on 0th index then 20 l6 uh, 1 l6 1 is equals to 20 so 20 is going to store over here the next is 30 and 40 so 30 is going to store over here and 40 is going to store over here just like this and when we'll uh, like execute this system dot debug statement it's going to print it like that this 10 20 30 and 40 because in lists elements are stored in an ordered format again okay. so yeah this is how it works and whenever you want to access any element onto a particular index i've already explained to you but here's a simple example if i want to access 20 then uh, or if i want to access uh, the element which is onto the uh, third position or onto the second index then in that case i'll write down l6 and then inside the square brackets over here if you can see the statement uh, inside the square brackets i'll write down the index of that value that uh, where in this particular array this element is stored or this element lies i'm gonna write down the index over here and i'll i'm gonna get the value out of it so l61 includes or stores 20 right so it's gonna print 20 over here this is all what you need to understand about list array notation don't get confused just create a program out of it and just make sure that you uh, get it that lists and arrays are exactly same in apex there's no difference